welcome back uh, today's topic is uh, chomsky normal form as you know last lecture we see what you meant by a normal form what are the types of the normal forms is one is chomsky normal form and another one is the greenback normal form from once again let me define what you meant by a chomsky normal form is so this is the definition for chomsky normal form a context free grammar is in chomsky normal form if the grammar of the production is of the form either a tends to bc i mean to the production rhs should contains exactly two non terminals r or production can contains exactly a single terminal as i told you once again i'm repeating so there is a restriction on the length of the variables on the rhs part strictly limited to the two only that is what called the chomsky normal form okay so let me write down what is the procedure how to convert a context free grammar into the chomsky normal form i written the procedure so first step is from the given context free grammar eliminate useless variables eliminate unit productions eliminate epsilon productions meaning that directly i'm asking you to simplify the grammar then second step is in given grammar if the productions is already in the form of a tends to b a tends to a what is it meaning they already in the chomsky normal form you no need to convert them into the again chomsky normal form then include them as, as it is only third step if rhs part has terminals like a1 a2 a3 what supposed to be have only single terminal but terminals are exceeded in that case you can write like this s tends to ca1 ca2 c a3 so i am introducing three non terminals for uh, three terminals so then c a1 tends to a1 c a2 tends to a2 then c a3 tends to a3 so that you observe so right side of the production have only single terminal single terminal single terminal this is how we can convert if rhs part exceeded the more than one terminal okay then fourth step is if rhs part has more than two non terminals as you know according to the chomsky normal form the definition is rhs part should contains exactly two non terminals if if rhs part exceeds the non terminals more than two non terminals then we can introduce the some more new non terminals to reduce the grammar into the chomsky normal form let's suppose take this production y tends to x1 x2 x3 x4 x5 so rhs part contains five non terminals but exactly cnf expects only two non terminals how we can convert this into the chomsky normal form is by reducing the some more new non terminals like so i can write y tends to x1 r1 okay what is r1 part this is the r1 part okay then r1 tends to x2 r2 then what is r2 part this is the r2 part okay then r2 tends to x3 r3 what is r3 part this is the r3 part okay then r3 tends to x4 x5 now you observe every production is converted into the chomsky normal form so right side right uh, rhs part contains exactly two non terminals two non terminals two non terminals two non terminals okay let me tell you one important point if rhs part contains how many non terminals there five non terminals so n equals to what five okay so to reduce this uh, grammar into the chomsky normal form we introduce how many new non terminals 1 2 3 so 3 means what is it meaning 5 minus 2 equals to 3 okay so my intention is if there are n non terminals at the rhs part you need to introduce n minus 2 new non terminals to reduce the grammar into the chomsky normal form okay finally context free grammar generate some language okay then after converting context free grammar into the chomsky normal form the chomsky normal form is also generate the same language then only it is correct okay yeah let me check out this procedure by taking one example problem and we can solve that problem yeah this is the example grammar let's convert this context free grammar into the chomsky normal form the given grammar is s tends to ba slash ab a tends to b double a slash as slash a then b tends to a double b slash b s slash b okay and then convert this grammar into the chomsky normal form as you know the according to the definition of the chomsky normal form all the productions 
must be in the form of either a tends to bc or a tends to a a single terminal that can be a or b or c anything there are also two non terminals can be a de or something else r1 r2 something else okay yes now observe this grammar first step is eliminate useless variables eliminate epsilon productions eliminate unit productions okay i mean meaning, meaning that i am asking you to simplify the grammar okay there is no epsilon productions there is no unit productions s tends to a s tends to b so b defines b a defines a so all variables are useful variables there is no useless variables meaning that the given grammar is already in simplified form okay then let's convert productions into the chomsky normal form see identify what are the productions that are already in chomsky normal form see yes a tends to a it is already in chomsky normal form b tends to b it is already in chomsky normal form okay then a tends to b double a so there are supposed to be exactly two non terminal only there see a a tends to a s yes. there are supposed to be exactly two non terminal how we can convert all these two into all this into the chomsky normal form is right like this so s tends to i am taking this b a i am writing in b, c b a now c b tends to b okay then slash there also c a b so c a tends to a now you observe this is converted into the chomsky normal form then take a productions a tends to c b double a so in the place of c b i am introducing new non terminal c b then next slash c a in the place of a i am writing c a non terminal so c a yes then slash a is already converted right as it is a then b tends to c a double b i am introducing i am replacing terminal by the non terminal what is that non terminal c a slash then c b yes slash b as it is okay then what is the non terminal we introduce c a tends to what is c a tends to yeah what is c a tends to a then c b tends to what is c b tends to b okay now you observe identify what are the productions that are in chomsky normal form is this is in chomsky normal form 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 then it is in chomsky normal form it is in chomsky normal form it is also chomsky normal form it is also in chomsky normal form okay now identify what are the productions that are not in chomsky normal form is this is the production because rhs part contains three non terminals this is the production because rhs part contains three non terminals let's convert these productions also into the chomsky normal form by writing like this a tends to c b a a so how we can convert this into the chomsky normal form is introduce the one non terminal one new non terminal like a tends to c b let's say d i am writing okay now what is d double a is d so write this production d tends to double a so there rhs contains exactly two non terminal this is also two non terminals now it is converted into the chomsky normal form then what is the production that is not converted into the chomsky normal form this is so take this production what is that production b tends to c a double b okay so three non terminal introduce one more new non terminal to convert into the chomsky normal form how i can write it is so b tends to c a then e now e tends to e tends to what double b e tends to double b so now exactly two non terminal only exactly two non terminal only it is converted into chomsky normal form so after that write the finalized grammar so this is the given grammar write the finalized grammar that is converted into the chomsky normal form the finalized grammar yes what is that s yes, tends to c b a slash c a b then next yeah a tends to what is a tends to this is a tends to c b d slash c a yes this is slash a then d tends to what is d tends to yes double a 
then next this is what about the a production then b productions b tends to yeah b tends to this one what is this one b tends to c a e slash c b s slash b then so what is e tends to yeah e tends to double b then next what is next one this is c a tends to a then c b tends to b okay now you cross check so r h is what contains exactly two non terminal two non terminal two non terminal two non terminal single terminal then two non terminal two non terminal two non terminal single terminal two non terminal single terminal single terminal this is how we can convert a given context free grammar into the chomsky normal